This is one big hiker box. Oops, this is apparently where I get my little AT tag. All right, guys, it's my last night in Monson, and I got food, peanut butter, chocolate pie. I'm gearing up for tomorrow, which is immediate climb, and the rest of the week's gonna be climbing. So, so excited. <laughs> They're called like the chair, some chair backs. I don't know, something like chairs, stools. I don't know. I'll get you the correct name later. Um, Monson's such a cute little town. I guess the fireworks yesterday were Monson Day. And so they had singing and fireworks for celebrating their little cute town. Um, everyone is watching a movie in the lodge. There's a few people over at Lake House drinking. If, it, if I wasn't hiking tomorrow, I would, I'd be with them, but I don't drink the night before I hike because I'll feel shittier than I do. I bought some stuff at the gear store. Spent way more money than I should have. But you know me and shopping. I just, I went in that gear shop so many times just window shopping. I'm just terrible. It's, and it, yeah. Anyways, got new shoes. Um, sprayed permethrin on them, so they're outside drying as much as they can in this rain. Um, what else? Bought some other odds and ends, hand sanitizer, wet wipes, uh, Bacardi and lotion, and some snacks to add to my resupply. I bought new bread because the bread that I bought is like 10 days old already, so it's already hard and gross. Um, I'm going to try to, I haven't done any editing, so I'm going to try to edit when I get back, get one video out, and, uh, yeah. Anyways, over and out. That's my favorite barbecue sauce. So, I went to get my ET tag. <clears throat> and it looks like I am hiking on its century old first, I guess. Um, so, 100 years to the day. Well, not to the day, but I thought that was pretty stinking cool. All right, so I definitely need to start filming less. It finally happened and ran out of storage on my phone. I'm only going to show you the important parts. Apparently, anyways, on my YouTube, it says you guys only watch like five minutes of each video anyways. So maybe I'll just have way shorter videos. As I make a long ass speech. All right, well, I just got dropped off by my $85 shuttle, which I'm so thankful they do. Don't get me wrong. I'm so fucking thankful. But anyways, I just got dropped off. Um, and it's a half a mile back to the trailhead. And then I'm climbing. Um, I'm not sure where yet. There's a shelter in six miles. But that just that might have to be what I do today. Because it's already kind of late. I think it's like 10 or something. I don't know. We'll see. How I'm feeling. I have my knee brace on, which I think is helping, and I've got my new stinking shoes. I love them. I uh, luckily had extra Velcro in my bounce box, and was able to put Velcro on it so my gaiters work around it, and now they're looking good. Uh, the guy that was shuttling me, 40, um, is telling me about his tick situation and um, it was horrifying. Um, he had like the worst case scenario happen to him. He said he, it happened in like Virginia though. Um, but he was saying he wasn't doing anything I was doing, which was permethrin, pants, and bug spray. And I'm doing all of those things, so I'm being safe. It's uh, cloudy. Forecast says it's probably going to rain tomorrow. 
So I got that to look forward to. It's actually pretty chilly right now, which I don't mind. But um, when it rains, um, I might put a coat on along with the umbrella. Um, I've got wilderness jitters right now. I'm just getting back into it. It was nice going to civilization. It was completely worth it. Um, just even just to get new shoes, it was worth it. My ultras, the tread on the ultras is gone. I uh, left them there, so I'll show it to you when I get back in town. The tread was basically gone. And I had only done 70 miles. Um, I guess like, like, I think I said in the other video, the Timps don't have a rock plate. That's what Poet said or something. But yeah, every time I'd go over a route, my shoe would just warp around the route and it would just hit my arch. And that tendon that's in your arch, that plantar fasciitis, that um, plantar fasci fascia, itis is inflation, inflation, um, not inflation, inflamed um, plantar fasciitis. Yeah, anyways. So yeah, and then my knee tendon um, was hurting too because I fell on it weird. And uh, they're both feeling a little bit better. Still not 100%, but way better. And uh, yeah, like I said, I'm a little nervous. I'm all by myself going in the wilderness. My tramily is, um, I think they're going to be in Monson tomorrow or maybe the following day. Um, wildlife and Sherlock. Uh, yeah, that's all I got to add. We're hitting four minutes already. Over and out. So yeah, these are the new shoes. They're Solomon XA Pro 3D. I don't know. Trail runners. They're pretty stinking awesome. They got tons of tread. Rock, they have a rock plate. And the um, cinching of the... Oops. The cinching is awesome too. Um, I'm pretty really ha I'm pretty happy with these. So we'll see how they do. But let's see this sign right here. All right. Yep, White Cat Mountain. That's where I'm going. Okay, I lied. I didn't know the time. I got. We got here at 11:45. So it's a real late start. So I think six miles to the next shelter is a good place to leave off for the day. Well, just got um, water at the shelter. So it looks like it's gonna be about five or seven miles to the next stop. And I had lunch, peanut butter and jelly on a wheat English muffin. I gotta say, not my best idea. Tortilla actually tastes better. They had these brioche, ba, brioche um, loaf at Monson. So when I get back there, I might be doing that. And I'll figure out a way not to get it squished. It'll be my prized possession. <laughs> um, let's see what else. So yeah, I just ate at the shelter. So nice. The bugs were not around, so I could eat in peace. Met some uh, other Sobos, uh, Tika and Spark Sparky. Um, right now, I'm hiking up Whitecap. Uh, it's one and a half miles up with 12,000 feet in elevation. So you can hear me breathe a little bit. My shoes, I think I got a half size too big. Also, these Solomons don't have as much grip as Ultras do. Um, the Ultras can grip down boulders even when they're like slick. You shouldn't because, you know, it's slick with water, but they can. Solomons cannot... Do not trust them. I have not tried it in dry boulders. I'm sure it has some grip. Oh. Yeah. 
that's just what I was talking about. This didn't even look like a boulder that it could slip on, but it did. So, oops, that's the dealio. Yeah, it's, these are so slippery. It's the, um, the tread and all of the wet moss gets hooked into it. And I don't know, ultras do a better job. So I can't trust these as much as I trusted the ultras. And it's a trade-off. The ultras gripped so well, so nicely when they had tread. But there was no rock support. And right now the root and rock support is so much more important. Maybe later down the line I might switch back to ultras. But so far, these are doing pretty good. I'm really taking my time out here, enjoying my views. I don't know if you can see in the background, like mountains. Enjoying my views, climbing up this beast. Um, maybe when I get signal, call my mom. She's been bugging for a phone call and I'm happy to oblige. And uh, yeah, I'm in a good mood. But I'm excited to go to camp. Alrighty, we'll run out. Made it to the Outlook. There she be. It's a cute little staircase, kind of. Ooh, don't want to slip here. <laughs> so yeah, we got some. Nice views. <sighs> I think, I don't know for sure, but I think that's what I have to go up. So, cool. Still have a mile though. But yeah, really nice. Oh shit, <laughs> I think that's Katahdin. Right there. My feet are hurting. Just doing that thing where you like, you know when you're at work and you're standing too long and you're leaning back and forth. That's my, what my feet are doing. And I, I've only been on trail for like two and a half miles. So this is gonna be rough. Well, I just got up at the top, I think. I think the top might be a false summit, I don't know, of a white cap. This was brutal. You can't see anything because of the cloud. But I'm basically at the top of the mountain. Oh wow. My knees and ankles are killing me. I might have to, when I get to Monson, I'm gonna have to take a couple more days off. I need to heal before they get worse. Anyways, yeah, I'm at the top of a mountain. It's pretty cool. I don't think the PCT takes you on the top at all, just through passes. I mean, there's Whitney, but that's not really on the PCT. <sighs> Maybe I lied. Maybe that wasn't the top. Let's see. There was a little bit more summit, but now I'm at the top. There's the sign with the blaze. Okay, so like, I just need to take a little bit of a rest. That was the rough, the roughest mile. And it, at least like a Totten, you're using your arms. This was just straight staircase um, all the way up here. And then rocks that are meant to put your feet <laughs> at the final, the final stretch. All right, I'm gonna put my jacket on so I don't get cold and check out, check what my plan is.
All right, guys, so I camped a little bit earlier than I wanted to, mileage-wise. Um, I was hoping to get three more miles to the campground, but it's 5.30, and I do not know if I could get there. It gets dark around 8, 9, 8.20 now. That's, that's when it sunsets, so it gets dark at like 8, and so... Um, Three hours to do three miles seems like plenty, and it might be, but um, it's that it's rocky bouldering stuff, and it's uphill, downhill, like straight uphill. We have to go over two more mountains, um, Hay Mountain and East, I think, or something. And so we go up, down, up, down, and then the camp. There's the campsite. And so I just don't think I can go up two more mountains before nightfall. Um, white cap took everything out of me. Uh, my knees were not doing hot tonight today. I'm gonna do some like rubbing and stuff. Um, I'm so mad that I didn't buy Ben Gay. My dad's sending me Vol Voltaren gel, but that's obviously not useful right now. <laughs> And I should have got Ben Gay cause, or something because, yeah, my knees are dying. I'm kind of upset because I got a hole, a bit, pretty big hole in my um, gaiters. And you know me, I um, don't like ticks. So I guess I might have to order some gaiters. I don't know. I think I remember that these taking a long time to get to me. They're by Dirty Girl. So I might have to get a pair of the ultra ultras ultra ones on like amazon or something but yeah um this campground is it's right at um a trail head so like um there's two different trails i don't know what i can't like a fork in the road basically with trails and i, I mean it's amazing it's so flat and it fits my duplex perfectly. I just had to swap, I had to grab it real quick, swipe it up real quick. So, um, tents made, I'm about to change, get cozy, getting ready for bed. Um, when I get out of my tent, I'm gonna look around cause these kinds of trees are prone to um, being widow makers. They're tall and skinny. Uh, so I'll make sure to see if there's any around me, um, but, but but there's not a breeze, not a breeze. That's the strangest thing about me, is every besides one day, every day has been so still, so freaking still here. It's crazy, which is nice, but um, weird. Anyways, so yeah, and then I'll probably hang my bear bag here since I'm so isolated from normal campgrounds and also, um, god damn it, what is that? Oh, so isolated from normal campgrounds and I'm by myself and this is a pretty remote spot, all con things considered. So yeah, I'll probably hang my bear bag pretty pretty far away from me. Try to get anything else scented. All right, well, I'm gonna go change. This is me drying out my clothes. This is my bed. So I got a two bedroom apartment. Right here is my closet. Um, right here is my living room. Um, and, um, this is my home phone, uh, my landline. <laughs> I actually have two closets, isn't that crazy? Then we've got my bathroom. My kitchen, unfortunately, is up in a tree, but, um, I can show it to you in the morning. And here we have my back porch. It's screened, isn't that nice? And then we have my front porch, and I leave my slippers out. So yeah, that's my uh, that's my little apartment. 
and um, we've got vaulted ceilings and everything. Wow. Wouldn't you believe it? And you wouldn't know. Every day, I got a different view from my window. I don't know how it happens, but I go to sleep and I wake up and it's just every day, a different view. Today's view is a stealth spot, just a little bit off the trail because my ass couldn't walk up a second mountain. Yep, that's right. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm delirious. Good night.